Hello everyone, welcome to Wild Writing in the Time of Corona. We're up to day 207 and today we're doing an ordinary workshop. And so all you'll need to do is to make a list one to six and I'm going to tell you what the, the prompts are. So the first one is um, a big stretch of water, something like um, an ocean or um, a lake. The second one is a home that's by the water. The third one is a hero or a heroine. The fourth one is a favourite food. The fifth one is an animal. And the sixth one is some sort of slow movement. I'll just read, read those to you again. So uh, an ocean or a big stretch of water, a home on the water, a hero or heroine, a favourite food, an animal and a slow movement. So all you need to do is to um, think of something that uh, fairly quickly that responds to um, the prompt and to write it down and you'll find yourself with a list of six things. So when I did it, um, my six things were these, just to give you an example, uh, a lake called Ranger Lake, which is in Canada. Um, the home by the water was a, a cabin, a little log cabin. Um, the hero or heroine was my Canadian grandmother. My favourite food was um, something called latkes, which are potato pancakes. Um, an animal was a hummingbird. And the slow movement was um, uh, the slowness that you sometimes feel when you dive into water when time t seems to slow down. So those, those were what I had. And so with what you have, the idea is that you write a poem um, probably at least four lines long using at least four of the things. So that's your challenge. So if you have your pen and your paper, I'm going to suggest that you start and then come back when you've done and um, you can listen to what I've written and hopefully you might um, want to share yours. So um, ready and start. Okay. Well, welcome back after that. I hope you enjoyed the writing process. Um, I think um, today, just to give you um, a little insight into how I did it, today I um, had quite a few things that I knew that were based on personal experience, but I wanted to write a poem that I think was probably closer to, um, I don't know whether you call it slam poetry or whether you just call it free writing. Um, so I um, didn't make myself rhyme, although there is a little bit of rhyme in the poem, um, and I kind of uh, wrote it almost as a conversation, um, which for me seemed to work. It tended to quite a long poem, but I, um, anyway, we'll have to see what you think about it. I think I quite like it. Um, I called it for some reason, um, Dive. Sometimes you do it slow and steady, getting through the days, I mean. Other times you just dive. Run to the end of the bleach jetty, eye up the dark, rippling waters, trust your legs to carry you, your arms to clear the path, and there you are, into the blue. Down like an arrow, narrow, you cut your way, slow motion in another element. One you knew before, you were you. Where do we go back to when we dive? Between the leaves of the uncut book, when we, gl when we glimpse a private look at where we're from. You may see your grandmother's gentle blue eyes, the child she was, she carried, you knew. In depths below the rays of the sun, where the lazy old carp occasionally swish, you feel the vastness of Ranger Lake, Older than anything, quieter now than blood. Your pulse throbs, your lungs begin to ache. You rise, feet like furious flippers propel you up towards the light. And as you break the surface, your mouth gapes wide for another breath of air. Look now to the shore. There, on the tiny veranda, Two people are watching, 
not you. This journey is your own. But an emerald hummingbird drinking sugar water from the feeder. His wings a blur, his body a jewel. Sometimes you do it slow and steady. Other times you just dive. That's the poem, which, do you know what, I think I quite like. So I look forward to seeing what uh, what you come up with. I hope you've enjoyed the, this little workshop and um, you will keep on um, with your writing and being creative. And I shall see you in a couple of days for uh, the very different day, which is the seventh day of the this uh, of this kind of week's workshop. So until then, you take care. Bye bye for now.